Hello Internet, I've put together this video like a billion times already, but maybe this time everything will go great. I mean, it's not that anything went terrible, it's just my speaking went terrible. Like, I said things that I realized I had already said before, or didn't say things that I forgot were said only in a different video that I didn't upload because of the... See, it was a mess. So anyway, we're going to try for reals this time. Number one. We've got this cursor on the screen. Um, on screen capture, I have noticed you will see the Windows cursor. I'm not seeing that. If you actually play the game, you don't see that Windows cursor. You only see this little crosshair. I don't know why the capture thing I have does that, but it's totally free capture software, so I'm not going to complain. That's like its biggest problem. If that's your biggest problem, that's that's a pretty great place to be. Um, I have also put together this level that shows off all of the mechanics. Um, shows off is kind of a weird w I mean, yeah, for me mainly. I mean, I'm trying to test all this stuff, so um, I've put together a demo level uh, that puts together, again, all the different mechanics we've got so far. So I'll definitely talk about those. The other thing that it has done is it now puts side passages with different kinds of rooms. It doesn't put treasure into any of these rooms, which is a sadness, um, but mainly that's because I don't have treasures to put in just yet. Um, so as you can see, here's a little room type that's just a little maze. I really don't, I might just get rid of those entirely. Mazes are frustrating, um, and I, I don't think I want to rely on them, but I mean, I was throwing together just every room idea I could possibly think of, um, and those mazes are quite small. I don't know, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I, I think I just need to not do it, but uh, playtesting will reveal the truth. So. Uh, anyway, yeah, we've got little side passages now, which we didn't have before, and, and by side passages I mean they're off the main route to the stairs. So the way it does this, and I and I rejiggered the whole uh, dungeon generation code too because it was having problems, uh, but the way it works now is it draws this wiggly path from one point to another and says, okay, that's start to finish, and then it goes and finds places that it can put side paths. Um, and currently it always does precisely one side path per room, there's no reason that it should do that. Sometimes there could be two. Sometimes there should be zero. Um, and I'm not sure how much I want to control that versus how much I want to let uh, proc gen kind of decide, you know? Um, that's another thing that will kind of come out of playtesting. Uh, and yeah, keyboard mouse again. It, previously, I had only been doing um, gamepad. That's not really a mechanic, but it's useful. Um, the downside to keyboard is you can only go in 45 degree increments. So. Here's the ice mechanic, which I just failed to talk about. You slide in, like I've let go, right, and I continue to slide. Uh, that needs to not work out quite that way. Like that was, my, that, this is my first implementation of the ice. Uh, I don't like it already, so I'm going to have to fix that up. Another thing, fantastic darkness. Um, so there are some weird problems with darkness. The, uh, the delay means that sometimes if the hallway is short enough, uh, or, or sometimes the darkness doesn't kick in on, on this, um, what would we say, like this perpendicular hallway, uh, you know, whether we're the connected rooms are vertically or horizontally arranged, that means this in-between passage will be perpendicular to that. So anyway, sometimes the darkness doesn't kick in here. Um, or even if it does, it's a very short, like maybe just two or three things, and so you get up here and then you can basically see the exit. And even then, I get a really good feel for this room uh, if I'm looking quickly. So I don't know how I feel about that. You know, on, in some ways you could say, Ooh, that's a, a feature for skilled players, you know, to take advantage of. Oh gosh, here's another one of those mazes I've been promising there won't be lots of. Um, and on the other, you could say that that's just dumb and, you know, that's a weird kind of thing to learn about a game. I don't know. It's, it's again, more testing from not just me will, uh, will be the proof. So... And, and the game is just not ready for that yet. The main thing I'm missing, and here are spikes, the main thing I'm missing is going down the stairs to go from level to level, and I think that's what I want to work on next. I'm not, I don't want to say that's the main thing. I mean, we're also missing a variety of enemies. We're missing spells. We're missing treasure, right? We're missing health pickups that things can drop. Um, I've also half-started that. Um, but anyway, here are the spikes. W uh, one problem with the spikes. <laughs> I feel kind of silly talking about nothing but problems, but um, what really counts for collision with like wh what tile are you counted as being on is the very center point of your body which is where I was attempting to put my mouse cursor so right now I'm not colliding with the spikes and right now that looks great because you know here are my feet but when you come at it from above it's silly right I mean that looks like I should be hitting I think what I need to do since collision is based on you know your whole rectangle body like if we had collision on the feet then your feet would be up here close to the wall and I'd be standing 
I want to say into the wall. That's not you know you'd be it'd be a perspective dealy. I don't think I want you to think that there's a perspective issue here. I, I think everything needs to be consistent with the block is the thing that collides. Because um, otherwise we get into weird things where you know a bullet is coming at you. I mean if you look at the bullet from this height, you would think that a bullet would would miss me if it was coming on the ground at that you know at that uh, y coordinate because that would go behind me rather you know it needs to so what do we do put shadows on the bullets you, 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 do you get what i'm it, it'll be very confusing so i think everything just needs to be you are a block and as long as it's consistent great right now this is not consistent right this gives you the suspicion that there might be a perspective thing and then this is just dumb so um it needs to be consistent so that's absolutely something else i'll work on uh, and then, oh my god, more of these horrible mazes, I'm terribly sorry. Um, seeing them come up that often, if they're going to be in the game at all, it needs to be rare. And again, I think it's just safer not to have them in the game. Um, and then here should be the exit, yep, here's the stairs. And again, you don't seem to go down the stairs at all. Um, and that's it, right? We've got all these kind of mechanics, we've got, uh, well, we've always had the coin picks up, but, uh, coin pickups. Um, from the vases. I need to start adding those to enemies and also health pickups, but there's spikes and fireballs and, and ice, and I think the things I'm still missing, and snakes, uh, the things I'm missing still are uh, wind, and I'm thinking I might do conveyor belts instead, because that might be a little more clear to have like these rotating tel uh, um, why did I lose the word just now? Whatevers. Um, and uh, key and lock, which I also started to do. I, I think at some point what's going to happen is I'm going to get into all of the pickup stuff. Um, we've already got coins, so the base code is there, but in terms of having enemies drop things or have specific things, like I might want to have an enemy who's got a key trailing him, and, and that, and you know, when you kill him, the key is dropped and you can pick it up and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then also having enemies drop health and, you know, so all that will come together, I think, as one package. Uh, but, but right now, I want to focus on the stairs and having it generate levels uh, for each mechanic, uh, kind of like in the demos I've shown before, where you know this was the the snake level, and, and I talked about how we're going to have that arc of the uh, introduction, uh, development, twist, and um, conclusion. I'm going to do that same thing here, uh, but again per mechanic. So so I want you to go through a whole level all snake, then another whole level all fire sticks, or another whole level all ice, and I want to have that process working because. I don't know, that seems like the next big thing for this being, you know, clo like, I, I think that really will bring it closer to you being able to imagine this is a thing I could play, and, you know, to really see the flow of the game, even if there aren't enemies, or spells, or treasures, or all these other things we would like, you know, um, I guess thinking along the lines of a minimum viable product, if, if, if you like, so, anyway, uh, I think that's about it, oops, sorry, I'll stop shooting, this is another thing, you stop shooting with the mouse when it's really close, I don't know if I want it when you hold down to click, it stops moving or stops shooting. I don't know. I mean, shooting needs to be the default, because why would you not shoot? Uh, but anyway, quite enough rambling. Thank you, as always, for watching. I will try not to wait so long between video posts next time. Um, but I don't know. On the other hand, there's a lot more done, so I'm not going to say this is a horrible failure. But, but it is my intention to post more frequently than this, so I will try to do that. Um, so yeah, until then, thank you very much. Goodbye.